Hi, welcome to the Absolute Improvised Monologue. You know the drill, there's something down there. Um, I want you to keep an eye on pork chop. Uh, early 2021, pork chop is going to become a household word. I also want you to know, in case you weren't sure, the pork butt is nowhere near the pig's butt. The pork butt is a way different part of the pig. It ain't the butt. Yeah, it makes the kids giggle when you say we're having pork butt for dinner, but it ain't the butt. Anyway, here we go. I'm looking at the prompts now. All righty. So this one afternoon, it was a Sunday. It was in November. It was many years ago. And me and Eldon and Kick were playing football. Now, we played football much the way that Chicago Bears do, except we actually tackle people. But we didn't have no pads. We didn't have no gear. We had a football, we had a field on 31st Street over there. We went into Cicero to play because that's where the field was that we liked. We could park our cars. And here's the big thing. After the game, we would be ready to inhale massive amounts of pizza. We would get so hungry because you're running around and running around and taking a cigarette break and then running around and running around. You would, after the game, you would be hungry. So you go over to this place and you go get some pizza. Anyway, so we met this guy called Ernie. And Ernie cooked pizza at this joint right down from the ballpark. So one day we go to and we play a game. We run around, smoke a cigarette, run around, smoke a cigarette, run around, smoke a cigarette. Finally, we're done. And we are hungry. We are like, 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 the, like, like, uh, like uh, Edgar Allan Poe says, we were ravenous. So we go to this pizza joint, and we go inside there, and we say, Ernie, set us up. So Ernie sets us up. There's about three pizzas on the table. It's me, Eldon, Kick, and this other guy called Van, who was a really good guy. We didn't really know him too good, but we knew him good enough to share the pizza. So we're eating the pizza, we're eating the pizza, and I get this piece and it's got the pepperoni and I'm excited because I like the pepperoni. It's a little hot jar in there. Start to eat. I said, this pepper's kind of chewy, Ernie. What do you got on? Your mind? He says, oh, I'm sorry. I said, don't worry about it. I took another piece. Hey, come on, Ernie. This is supposed to be the best pizza in Cook County. The sausages, the pepperoni, it's, it's rubbery. And he waves from the kitchen and notices his fingers all wrapped in white. He comes out and he says, look, guys, I give you the deal on the pizzas. You can't tell nobody. I said, tell anybody what? He said, today when I was preparing the uh, sausage and the pepperoni, I cut off a big piece of my thumb. You did what? My thumb. I cut off a big piece of my thumb while I was preparing the meat to make the pepperoni and the, and the sausage. I said, you're someone a bitch. I'm eating your thumb? You're feeding me your thumb? I thought we were friends. You're going to feed me your thumb? So, oh, no, 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 no. We got it out. I mean, most of it. We got most of the thumb out of the meat tray before it got... Why did you... Was it chewy? Yeah, Ernie, it was chewy. Were there calluses on it? I don't know, Ernie, if there were calluses. I didn't get a good look. I was putting it in my mouth. I thought it was pepperoni. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry that that happened to you, poor child. I wish there was something I could do about it. But the pizza's already free, so what do you want? That's a good point. It's free pizza. And it didn't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs>